Milwaukee, where Republican candidates for president of the United States held their first debate. It was fiery, with eight rivals taking shots at one another. Yeah, a ninth, the man with a wide lead in the polls was not on stage. Former President Donald Trump sat it out. He even urged his rivals to drop out of the race. Instead, they clashed tonight over abortion, the economy, the southern borders, the war in Ukraine, global politics, and of course, Trump himself. KTLA Samantha Cortese followed it all. She joins us live from the news center with the play by play tonight. Sam. Just wait until you hear how many people watched President Trump's separate interview with Tucker Carlson. But the message of the night send the current President Biden back to his basement. Eight Republican candidates took part in the first debate of the 2024 presidential election. Right off the bat, heated moments surrounding political newcomer Vivek Ramaswamy. Who the heck is this skinny guy with a funny last name and what the heck is he doing in the middle of this debate stage? I'll tell you, I'm not a politician. Do you want a super PAC puppet or do you want a patriot who speaks the truth? I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. And the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, what's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama. And I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur standing in stage tonight. Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug just same, like you did to Obama. The same type of and, and you'll help elect me just like you did to Obama too. Now is not the time for on-the-job training. We don't need to bring in a rookie. This is exactly why Margaret Thatcher said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. On the issues, U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley called out her own party for spending. You have Ron DeSantis, you've got Tim Scott, you've got Mike Pence. They all voted to raise the debt. And Donald Trump added $8 trillion to our debt, and our kids are never going to forgive us for this. The candidates shared their views on UFOs, abortion, COVID-19, education, China. We need anti-ship missiles on Taiwan. The way that you have a war never start, which is the goal, the way you have peace through strength. The southern border. We could have the military-grade technology to surveil our southern border to stop the flow of fentanyl and save 70,000 Americans a year. That should be the priority. And crime. When we had two of these district attorneys in Florida elected with Soros funding who said they wouldn't do their job, I removed them from their post. They are gone. Including the coming trials of former President Donald Trump. Though they did not unanimously agree to support him if he's both convicted of crimes and the GOP presidential nominee. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to support somebody who's been convicted of a serious felony or who has dis is disqualified under our Constitution, and that's consistent with RNC rules. The elephant not in the room, as they called him, the top polling GOP candidate, former President Trump. He held his own stage with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson on X. Are you worried that they're going to try and kill you? Why wouldn't they try and kill you, honestly? Uh, they're savage animals. They are people that are sick, really sick. You have great people in the Democrat Party. You have great people that are Democrats. Most yeah. of the people in our country are fantastic, and I'm representing everybody. I'm not just Republicans or right. conservatives. I represent everybody. I'm the president of everybody. Former President Trump's interview with Tucker Carlson. Uh, it's been updated since I wrote that script now. 108 million views. MB and Micah, back to you. All right, Sam, thank you so much.